Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of 007 for Women, um, the first one. This one was released in 2015 and is the first official female fragrance in the 007 lineup. Um, there have been a couple 007 fragrances for women done by Avon, but in the official 007 fragrance house, this is the first one. So the box looks like this, and it's kind of this bronzy um, color with a box in the uh, front that says 007 for women. On top it's black in reverse, and it has that 007 for women on top. And then the back is just the same as the front. And then both sides are black with that kind of diamond shaped pattern. The bottle looks like this. It's black. It has that kind of like diamond shaped pattern that's on the front. Um, of the box, but it's kind of three-dimensional, and then it says 007 right there, and then it's kind of got like that, uh, like a rosy, bronzy band going across the bottle, but that is also carried on to the sprayer. So, this one is, do, 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 do. it helps if I keep my note pulled up when I do reviews, that would be great. Anyway, so this fragrance actually really, really surprised me. One of my friends recommended me to this fragrance. Otherwise, I probably would have never smelled it. And I smelled it in the store and kind of, I mean, I went online and I read the notes for it when it came out. And she kind of recommended me to it. And I was like, you know, I will, I'll look at it. Um, I'll smell it. We'll see how I like it. And I smelled it and was blown away. I had a complete impersonation in my mind of what I thought this fragrance was going to smell like. And it smelled nothing like I thought it was going to smell like at all. I thought it was going to be really deep and really spicy. And it smells nothing like that. It's probably one of my uh, top five fragrances of 2015. It is that amazing. I love, love, love this fragrance. So, notes for this fragrance. Top notes are black pepper, rose milk, rose milk and bergamot. Middle notes are gardenia, jasmine, and blackberry zest. With the base notes of white musk, black vanilla, and woody notes of cedar. So, definitely, when you first spray this fragrance, let me give it a quick. Oh my god, I love this fragrance so much. So, definitely when you first spray it, I get the bergamot zest, like the citrus kind of opening, with a little bit of the florals backing it up. But it definitely kind of dries quickly into what I call like the heart base. Because there's not really a distinctive differential between the heart and the base. I mean, there's a little bit. The top quickly fades, but it kind of comes into this really kind of warm, milky, creamy, blackberry liqueur, vanilla mix. This fragrance is unbelievable. Definitely quite different from a lot of things that I've smelled. It, that blackberry is super rich, super berry-like, and the vanilla is a, like, a, it, the notes read it was a black vanilla, which is even more richer and even more potent than the original vanilla. Um, this fragrance is seductive, it's dark, it's deep, it's heavy, it's warm, it's creamy. It's got so many layers to it, and it's so uh, just amazing that... The blackberry, like I said, is like that really, really kind of standout note. And it's a true blackberry. Not normally in a fragrance with blackberry in it do you see it being the standout note as much as it is in this fragrance. And it blew me away because when I saw the black pepper, I was like, see, black pepper in a fragrance, not my friend. Not, no. And then I saw like the rose milk and I was like, oh, we're getting into some like deep, heavy, like white diamond floral bullshit that I'm not going to like. And this, something about the way it all blends and the way it's, I have two bottles of this fragrance. I have the one that I keep here in my collection. And then I have one in my car. And I know you're not supposed to keep fragrances in your car. It's a terrible idea. Um, it ruins the fragrance. It does a lot of bad things to the fragrance. The heat, fluctuation, bad, 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 bad. Don't lecture me. I know. But, I keep it in my car because I love this fragrance so much that 
I wore it all winter long. I sprayed it on myself a lot during the winter, just kind of going into work. If I forgot to throw something on, I would throw this on. It is that amazing of a fragrance that every single time I've worn it, I've got so many compliments. I've worn it so many times at work and people have asked me what I'm wearing and I'm like, we don't have it, I'm sorry. Here's something that might smell similar, but we don't have anything that smells like this, I'm sorry. Um, but it's amazing. I love, love, love this fragrance. They're releasing a second one, 007 for Women number 2. Should be released hopefully this spring. Bottle is similar to this with like a, but it's kind of like a rosy gold bronze top here and then the bottom part's clear. Um, and then the fluid's tinted the same color. Can't wait to smell that one. It's supposed to be kind of a more fruity, lighter interpretation of this one, which, Lord help me. I mean, if this was my winter signature fragrance, something tells me that's going to be my spring signature fragrance. As we already know, uh, Menagerie Exotic is my summer signature fragrance. And I don't really have a fall signature fragrance. I kind of do, but I kind of don't. Anyway. So, definitely I love this fragrance. Definitely more of a wintry type fragrance. Lasting power, it lasts 10, 12, 14 hours on me. I've smelled this fragrance. I've sprayed it on me in the morning. Still can smell it on my clothes when... I get out of the shower the next day and throw them, like, when I smell my clothes. I'm weird. I smell my clothes, okay? I check perfume to see if I can still smell it. I can still smell it, like, the next day, 24 hours later, on my clothes. It's ridiculous. Love, love, love this fragrance. Definitely something to go out and blind buy. I know Kohl's has it. Um, you can get the 50 mil for relatively cheap. It's not um, a super, like, uh, break-the-bank budget fragrance um it's definitely budget friendly definitely something that's very it smells more rich and more uh expensive than it really is and i love 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 that about this fragrance so there you guys go there is my review of 007 for her if you guys have any questions or any comments go ahead and comment down below request for videos down below i am terrible at my outro lately don't know why probably because i don't review very often anyway as always guys thanks so so much for watching you can follow me on twitter a the s perfume and instagram among the stars perfume links are in the description below have a great day guys bye